to the character and the music here is really voicing that. She almost looks like Bayonetta. Stylish, smooth, and the shots are just beautifully transitioned and kind of woven well. together. On my Genshin Impact cinematic journey, we have come at last to a new exciting character demo. Xian Yun, unfettered as the wind. Genshin Impact. If you've been enjoying our time together, please consider watching some of the other videos we've covered on this channel, including the full Farina finale and all the 4.0 goodness. Genshin Impact. Genshin Lore Masters, join me in battle once again. Hmm, for a modern heroine, we need a modern weapon. Quite. The likes of swords, staffs, spears, bows, Are we writing? are ubiquitous in opera. We need Shen something he, more and original. Oh. Gusto. Gusto? <laughs> They're writing an opera. I love it. Ooh, awesome, awesome shots here. Xian <laughs> Yun, Passerine Herald. A herald. I love that idea. You know, in this case, it's maybe heralding knowledge. Yeah. A smoothness to the character, and the music here is really voicing that. She almost looks like Bayonetta, stylish, smooth. And I love the kind of slow motion hits. Boom! The characters float up. She must also be an exceptional inventress. An inventress? You can master martial arts in a lifetime. Yet True. to invent is to change life itself. A beautiful shot. Almost painted. The better part of valor. Stop! <laughs> Stop! It looks like the background is painted. <sighs> Almost like the backdrop backdrop to the opera. In the script. She's Beautiful. utterly ridiculous. An inventress? What a load of Uh-huh. No. Let me guess. She's gonna use her invention? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so whimsical. The shot is coming out of Miyazaki. It's a fairy tale feeling. Jump! Wow! What a beautiful transition! There's a grace, there's a smoothness to this adventures. Almost feels like Bayonetta and the shots are just beautifully transitioned and kind of woven well, together. Have I convinced you yet? <laughs> Absolutely! Please, Miss <laughs> Adventures! Help me down from here, please! <laughs> really well done, yeah. I love that one. There's a lot to talk about. Um, I don't think we missed anything here. Just the logo, beautiful work. Yeah, there's a lot of very, very nice shots in here. Very glad we covered this one. Um, like I said, if you're enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe, hop into our Discord. We have a huge Discord of Genshin community, Warcraft, Final Fantasy, lots of fun stuff. And like I said, check out the other stuff we did with Farina if you missed it. We dove really deep into that and covered many, many videos. Um, let's get into it. So my favorite part is probably the idea of this, um, of, you know, it's a, uh, it's kind of a, a play within play, like the Shakespeare approach, right? It's, it's a video, or it's a, you know, a story here about someone writing a story, right? And this is such a fun idea um, to sort of go into the layers of it. And, you know, within this, we have a whimsical feeling. Um, they're trying to write a sort of fairy tale and a sort of opera story. And this, this feels like that. It's like, oh, the idea of inventress. Uh, being sort of doubted and then her invention ends up saving someone. It has a very sort of uh, simplicity to it and a fun kind of like almost uh, nursery rhyme feel to it. It's really cool. And the Passerine Herald. There's a lot of, there's a lot going on here. Let me read quick. It says one of the mighty uh, and illuminated Adepti. She's an Adepti? I did not know that. That's awesome. Known as Cloud Retain. This is the Cloud Retainer? It just hit me. It's so small, the text. <laughs> I couldn't read it before fast enough. Expert in all kinds of mechanical contraptions, her heart now turns towards the affairs, the mortal world, although she walks under the name Xian Yu. This is the cloud retainer? Are you kidding me? No wonder it shows Shen He. Didn't she raise her? My mind is blown. This is the cloud retainer that raised Shen He? This is amazing. My mind is blown. Yeah, there's a lot of great shots here. I love, I mean, and it explains so much more of the sort of the, the cinematography here. So let's talk about it. Look at the smoothness here. This, this tracking shot is the cloud retainer flying around as a crane. 
right? She sees people in trouble and she swoops in and as you can see it actually is the cloud retainer. That's so cool. I thought it was just some sort of affectation of her magic. It's actually, that's who she is. And this seems to be a kind of, you know, a, a la like Greek gods sort of form that she takes when she walks among humans. I think that's so cool. I think that's amazing. Um, the outfit choice is awesome too because now it means even more to me. Like I said, it has this sort of bayonetta feel with the glasses, which I think is so fun for like an ancient being to wear glasses, right? It's like, what, why do they need glasses? <laughs> it's so cool, right? And then we have this kind of uh, slender figure, but there's these green pieces hanging off the costume design. So smart because when she's moving, she's twirling around, she's attacking, they swoop around almost like wings, right? So there's a really smart costume design and her hair, the sort of underside of her hair is green, uh, much like the wings would be. Great choice here. So cool. Classic Genshin, they put the microscopic text up there. It's the cloud retainer. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. But I love it. Like I said, there's a uh, there's a grace that makes perfect sense for the character. I think it's so fun to see um, knowing that Shen He was raised by this person, it's so fun to see the sort of um, where she got her style, so to speak. I think that's a really fun concept. Yeah. Awesome. I'm really curious how many of you guys are going to pull for her. Yeah, and there it is. See, this, this is the Cloud Retainer I know from the game. That makes sense. She must all and then of course we have the uh, the aspect ratio changing. So fun. Also be an really, really cool choice. You can master martial arts in a I'm gonna cut subtitles here to focus yes, on the composition now. So this is the part I really like. This is such a cool idea because it's kind of like an opera backdrop. Is to change life. This shot is just gorgeous. I mean, is to look at that. It's just gorgeous. It looks like a painting, right? It's so classical in nature. Uh, as she is, as a character. What I like about it is it sort of echoes this idea of uh, feeling like a fairy tale that we're watching, but the deeper layers, we're watching a, a fairy tale like image about people writing an opera or a fairy tale. It's so cool. It's so fun. And of course, the cranes, the cloud retainer imagery. We have this constant sort of visual uh, sort of repetition of a kind of like hit that goes to the music, boom, a little bit of slow mo, a little bit of slow mo, and then it goes back. That's exactly what happens there, and then it goes back to normal speeds. Sort of, we call it a sort of speed ramping in video editing. Is the better part of that. So cool, yeah. I'm really enjoying. Uh, I'm really enjoying how she moves too, which makes so much sense. Again, sort of like wing movement, really cool. Um, part of yeah, Stop. very impressive. <laughs> this part is quite funny. Stop. <laughs> And she's saying, this is what's so cool, is the character saying, this is unrealistic. What are you talking about? Stop. <laughs> and again, it's just such a like, it takes you out of the, it kind of puts them back into reality. You know, there's just long shots, no more quick cuts. They're just standing in the grass talking. Uh, we have a full shot here. Very, It's very unremarkable. There's no camera movement. And that's so funny to kind of take us out of the insane camera movements that were happening before. Uh, and I want to talk about those movements uh, kind of in full power at the ending here. We have this in the script. She's utterly ridiculous. An adventurous? And right there, she kind of sensed the danger. What a load of... What a load of baloney. And then this is so fun because she tells her to jump with her, like, invention here. So she summons this little baby crane. How fun is that? All right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. This is the shot that I loved. It was so cool. And it feels like, you know, we're going on a journey, but it has almost like the same feeling of a Breath of the Wild Vista shot where it's kind of sweeping around and showing, whoo, rotating, showing the wide world. Uh, look at this. You know, it also functions to just show how beautiful the world of Genshin is and sort of a reminder that you can explore all this, right? It's awesome. And then she tells her to jump. It's so cool. It's like, ah, oh, my invention told you to jump at the right time. She goes up in the tree. Woo! 
Yeah, I want to talk about that. It's a beautiful shot. Let's look at it again. So good. Just an explosion of movement and it's so well timed and well edited. There's a smoothness, there's a grace. That can only come from immortality. Have I convinced you yet? I love it. And even in there, like, you know, have I convinced you yet? Uh, she's calm, you know, she's not overly gloating or anything or arrogant. You know, she's confident, but someone who's been around for a very long time, right? It's awesome. I want to see this again. I love that. And maybe we'll look at it. Let's see. We'll pause play our way through this one because it's just beautifully done. I like how the camera pans up. So it looks like this is actually the creature's view. And they see the cloud retainer coming. You get this little punch in with the lens, this little zoom in. And then look at this. Swooping in, swooping in. And then there's the transition. Boom! The transformation. And you get this awesome heroic shot as she swoops in into the extreme close-up the impact it, don't say it don't you say it <laughs> and then they all scatter and everything like what a what a nicely storyboarded segment and now this is where stuff gets wild i just i love this and i want to show you sort of the beauty of this next segment notice they keep the subject very very well framed in the composition here but there's a ton of movement Oh, and a movement. Beautiful, beautiful. We had the transition from the subject being on this side, sort of rightmost upper third of the screen. Boom, there's a little impact, and she gracefully steps over to the leftmost upper third of the composition. Very well called there. Yeah, and you see, you see the movement of the limbs. Gracefulness. Right? There's no stumbling, there's no, uh, there's no sort of like brute force. It's just calculated grace. And all of her movements are just, you know, right? It's really cool. That was one of my favorites too. Yeah, let's go back just a bit for that one. So there's just this cool sort of swooping shot. And I love that they go, Phew. there's that same idea of the cranes, right? With the backdrop. Phew. Speed ramping, then it picks up again. I really like this section. So we're kind of buzzing around and zipping around. It's such a quick shot, but this is why the character demos, like I always say, are so great on the rewatch, is you'll catch all the details. But look at this, we're kind of following this little mini crane, and then we come up like this, and there's this rotation of the character, and we end up coming into this cool pose here. So cool. And look at that, she ends up perfectly composed on the upper right, the upper left third again. Yeah, smooth stuff, smooth stuff, very impressive. Well, have I convinced you yet? So awesome. <laughs> Absolutely! Please, Miss Adventures, put me down from here, please! Get me down! I think that's so fun. <laughs> be a great video. <laughs> It's awesome. What a great character. Um, I'm super curious to see uh, how many of you guys are going to pull for her. And I want to know if she's really good in the game and like how you would rank her compared to other uh, characters. And I wasn't I wasn't sure that the, the Adepti were going to be controlled. Have I missed have I missed the boat on a couple of the other Adepti? Very, very fun. But anyways, amazing video from Genshin. Um, I'd love to cover some more in-game cutscenes from Genshin. So guys, please, um, you know, if there's any more coming out in the recent patches, I would love to check those out and break them down. Um, the Farina ones, like I said, we had a huge response in the community and uh, some of my most popular videos ever, actually, from the Farina ones. So let me know if there's any more you want to see. That was an absolute blast, that whole section of the game. But uh, you guys are the best. Maybe I'll hop on Genshin again and play some more on stream. That was really fun, too, for our, I think it was our 25K celebration we did that. But uh, thank you, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Like I said, if you enjoyed your time, make sure to subscribe, hop into our Discord. And I will see you guys around town. Thank you.